All right, Dr. Rob, uh, you have a pretty sizable practice. You do a lot of implant cases. How many different types of implant systems do you use? Oh, this sounds like a trick question. <laughs> the answer is I use one implant system. I use one dental implant system everywhere in the mouth. I use it in my aesthetic cases. I use it in the non-aesthetic cases in the posterior, and I use it for my short implants, and I use it for my all on X cases. One implant system. Now, the reason why, the main reason why, is because internally, I'm lazy. And what I mean by that is this one company, which is the BioHorizons company, has a, approximately 5,500 different SKUs for parts that they make. The implant library, so you have a, 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 a 4.6 millimeter diameter that comes in a 10 and a half millimeter length, then you got one that comes in a 12, and you got one that comes in a 15, and then, then you go to the 5.2 diameter implant, and then they got those different dimensions. And then you've got different abutments that go on top of them, and then you've got all your surgical kits, and you've got your drivers, and you've got your wrenches, and you've got all of the componentry that stacks up to about 5,500 parts. Now, I'm here to tell you that I probably only know about 100 of those parts. The Most of the salespeople that work for large corporations probably only know about 100 of their parts. There's just too much to know. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I don't have the time to learn these parts across multiple companies because they're not called the same thing. So in BioHorizons world, it might be TLXP-5810 uh, for their part. Like, it's all hieroglyphics, right? And some other company might have uh, NP for narrow platform or something, or tapered platform. They, they all have abbreviations and codes. And, and I don't want to learn how to read the hieroglyphics for every single different company. And I don't want my team to do it either. And I don't want to manage that inventory. It's hard enough to manage the inventory from one company. So I have one company that solves all of my problems. I, I, I would argue that the implant is the best implant on the market based on eight different criteria that we've talked about numerous times on the channel. So I've picked what I believe is the best implant that, that I could give my patients for, for longevity and strength. And I use it everywhere. I have short ones for, for compromised locations where I need to use short ones. I have uh, long ones for, for doing zygomas and things like that if you want. Uh, I have regular size ones for everywhere else. I have ones that work for full mouth and I have uh, beautiful ones that work with laser lock in the aesthetic zone. So we have good soft and hard tissue attachment to the crustal region of the implant and I have no concerns about nailing my, my aesthetics. So one implant system makes my life simple and it works everywhere in the mouth. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it sounds like an ideal solution and you said it's the best, so why use anything else anyway? That's how I feel about it. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, Smile Engineer, out.